Welcome back friends to the kitchen and today we are going to use some leftover turkey. So yes, after Thanksgiving so many people have extra turkey left over. You can freeze it, you can use it soon after Thanksgiving in different dishes and this is one of those videos. So we are going to use some of our leftover Thanksgiving turkey and make turkey tetrazzini. Now this recipe is typed out down below and I will give you some ideas of some things that can go in your turkey tetrazzini because you'll see some differences between what I have typed out and what I use in the video. Now of course I try to make everything from scratch as much as possible with as many ingredients made from scratch as possible. So that's what I want to show you in how I do my cooking. So to start out, we of course have to boil our spaghetti noodles or any kind of noodles that you want to use. It doesn't have to be spaghetti noodles. You just want to cook them a little more than halfway because we are going to bake this and the liquid from the casserole dish is going to further cook those noodles. So make sure that you do not cook them all the way through. Now you can use whatever amount of turkey that's left over. If you don't have a whole lot, you can sub some for chicken or you can just use what you have. And if you have to, you can half the liquid and the noodles or double it, you know, whatever, how much ever turkey you have left over. The recipe down below is gonna call for three cups of turkey that's already cooked. And whether it's shredded or cubed, it doesn't matter. We're going to add in sour cream and this is just going to thicken up the liquid. Now at this point, if you don't have sour cream, you can actually put in some cream cheese or whipping cream. Um, you can even use mayo if you want. <laughs> it just, it's, it's all kind of the same thing. Um, and you can make this your own to what you have on hand. We'll also add to this a half a cup of melted butter, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, a half a teaspoon each, a little bit, about a quarter teaspoon of onion powder and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And if you want just a tad bit of heat, you can add about an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We're also gonna put in here cream of mushroom soup. Now the recipe below is gonna call for two cans but of course, if you guys have been here around very long, you know that I make my own cream of everything soup. And this time it's going to be two makings or equivalent of two cans of the cream of everything soup for two cans of cream of mushroom soup. So while you are cooking everything, getting everything put together, well, you need to go ahead and turn on your oven to 325. And we are going to bake it in a 9 by 13 inch baking dish. Um, make sure that you put some, some kind of non-stick ingredient on it, whether it's butter or lard or spray. I don't judge. Use what you want to. Um, just so that the noodles do not stick. You can also put it in a 12 inch oven safe skillet. If you want to do a stove top version, which is one of my favorites, you can prepare all of this in a skillet. And if it's oven safe, just stick it right into the oven and you don't even have to mess up another dish.
This is gonna go covered with aluminum foil into the oven for 45 minutes. For the top of the dish, let's not forget, we need to put some shredded mozzarella cheese. The recipe is going to say two cups, but you put however much your heart feels needs to go on top and allow it to bake another 10 to 15 minutes. This is going to finish off melting the cheese topping and it's also going to brown it just a little bit. So this is one of the easy dishes that you can throw together either beforehand and bake when you can or you can bake it when you have time and put it in the freezer for later. Now if you want to freeze it, make sure that it is sealed up very well. Make sure it's in a oven safe dish. You can either take it out and allow it to thaw first and put it in an oven at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes, or you can put it in the oven frozen on 325 for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now you just wanna make sure everything is hot since it's all cooked, and then your family will be able to enjoy a home cooked meal. What are some other ways that you guys use your turkey leftovers? I know it's about that time Everybody has so many recipes, but share down below. Let me know what you guys do with your turkey leftovers. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and we will see you next time, guys. Thanks for stopping by.